Oh, it's recording now, ain't it? Hey, hey, I'm a YouTuber, YouTubing, and I got a YouTube and Draco got. Oh, look how this. Oh, that is my YouTube and baby. Uh, uh, he don't. We are the boys in motion. We give you our devotion, boys. We are the boys in motion. We give you our devotion. We are the crabs in motion. We give you our devotion. Yeah. All right, I hope the sound of this is good. I'm not about to play it back and find out, so we just finna eat. Why you can't eat? Cause I don't want to. I don't want to go wrong. Okay. I know we can hear us, I just don't know how bad the echo might be. Echo, echo. Mike chat one, two, one, two. You, you want to eat a crab leg? What is you going to do? OD pie, which is two guns, Drew. Psych, I'm getting them though, cause I don't play. Excuse my mic, she like attention. Hey. All right, y'all. So like this it? is a uh, OD podcast mukbang celebrating twenty thousand um, streams. Twenty thousand. I about to say twenty thousand dollars streams. What if we get a dollar per stream? What a bad ass SoundCloud. What a bad ass. <laughs> also. Let me tell you. Anyway, Bro, so what are hey. um the the uh the accessories? Did you put the gloves in, or you just brought the whole bag? I was I was accommodating. Is my podcast in vain? Shout out to Wildcrab. They actually told me to tag them, but maybe. All right. How much they pay? They watched that maybe. Uh -huh. When I was up there, I told them we couldn't do it. For all business inquiries, please. Uh -uh. We're blurring this out, too. <laughs> we should have made our own. We should have got only podcasts. This is going to be fun, y'all. I'm excited. Let me put my sleeves back. So, this is my second time eating muscles. Do the muscle, hey. Okay. Ooh, look at that. I'm glad I did it. All right, so um, we went to the wild crab. I have the um one pound of shrimp with the wild crab sauce and it was, it's yeah. not, Oh, you did. You didn't get no crabs. Correct. I have one. I'm not shellfish. <clears throat> half pound of crabs, half pound of mussels, half pound of shrimp. I'm okay. actually gonna do mine this way. Ooh, look at that. It's leaking. Bad looking. Uh, Where the scissors go? Right here. I just got the computer here for our. Y'all sent in some questions that we're going to answer today while we uh, chit chat. Uh, go ahead and subscribe now. Don't actually know if I'm going to put a subscribe button there. I just wanted to practice for when I'm when we full time YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you probably don't need this more than me. Huh? What I'm here to see this for? I don't know to crack the crowd. That would definitely be. <laughs> so um, <laughs> so you'll be doing it and like that, huh? Oh, oh wow, well, you be thinking like, that lady like, talk so loud. No, she be like, I think maybe I don't know. No, she can't hear herself. She be want to. I maybe just her personality, cause I'm loud. Yeah, Let dude. me take my glasses off. Mm mm. I can't see. Yeah. But I know it's a. Forget it. Okay, this is our first see. example. Who need to see when you got food from the sea? Oh, you did. be a rapper. Yeah, that way. All right, y'all. So I usually get crab legs, but honestly, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Crab is hard to get all the meat out. No, it's not. And uh, so one of the first questions that people ask, they want to know how we met, which is funny because I thought everybody knew that. We met in fourth grade. I don't know the specifics for sure, but it definitely was in Miss Mammoth class at Fickett. Fickett Elementary School off Camels and Road. We from Camels and Road. Yeah. Yeah, Miss Mammoth. I should do my makeup for this. You gonna look like be love for real. She be having makeup. She do her look but she be having a lipstick line. Cause her tongue do not be coming off. She be wearing crayon case. Oh, I heard good things about that. Um, the lipsticks. Okay. They don't come off. Dang, we get no water. Who ain't get no water? Oh. <laughs> you better. <sighs> All right. So um. So yeah. So we met at Pickett Elementary School. Yeah. And um. I mean, I don't even know how we got cool. I think it might have started from the bus stop. Cause we used to, so I used to um, catch my school bus at his bus stop, even though it wasn't in my neighborhood. Don't ask. Yeah, I always wondered that. Because you had a bus stop by your house. Because, um, I think because my mom was taking my brother to school at Fickett. And so it just made sense. Well, we met him at Fickett. We was there too. I don't even know y'all. 
That's what I'm saying. This, the bus stop happened at Bunch. We didn't catch the bus to Bunch. We used to walk to school. At Vicky. Did you used to walk to school at Vicky? No. You know what? I used to walk to school. I went to Pickett for the first time. Where I was living at? Bond Road. No. I don't know. Because it's a thing. Bard Road wasn't our first time living on campus. It might have been when I was staying at my granddad's house. But then I was going to go to Pine Hill Road. I don't have an answer for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it definitely was Bard Road. How he going to know? And I don't know. I remember. Well, anyway, we met in fourth grade, honey. I don't know what made us get cool. Maybe because he was childish. What, friend? I'm saying we could nap him. Because you was childish as well? Or? I was a child. Okay, so anyway, the next question. Wait, why nobody told me that black muscles is good? I love my black can with black muscles. Oh! <laughs> um, if you could have one person for a week, who would it be and where would you go? Um, I don't know if you have none of them Yes, you is. Okay. Um, hang with one person for a week. Any any person. It don't. They didn't specify they had to be famous or not. I want to be famous. Okay. Does that answer the question? Um, my person would have to be Janae Aiko. Okay. I'll be with her for a week. I think that um, whenever I think about me getting away, I think about peaceful, being peaceful. Being relaxed, learning something new. She is very cultured, in her own and other stuff, and she also practices a lot of things that is like peaceful, like singing bowls. Like that's her thing right now. Singing bowl. Oh, that thing that you were talking about that you did with EJ. Yeah. Okay. You know, I think I should peel my shrimp all on first and then come back to them so they can marinate. Marinade, let my mom say. Rest in peace, But yeah, I think that would be fun. I think. I actually smoke weed too, if she was, cause she smoked weed. Yeah, yeah, she seemed like a. You know what's so funny? I um, you know, I don't really give none trap music enough attention. But I listened to a Janet, some Janet music when I got my, I was getting my hair braided this weekend, and um, she was, she was calling him a pussy. Oh, she don't That's know, my she, kind of girl. Yeah. <laughs> I it was like, this dude is so vibey. Uh, yeah. But lyrics hit different. Some of them. You can't <laughs> pay them in, uh, during nap time for the churn. That muscle mm. hit different. Mm, okay. But, um, Who would it be? I'm trying to think for me. Honestly, right now, <laughs> I don't even know. Jesus. I was gonna say Jeezy, but I don't think we got nothing coming. Yeah. I ain't gonna be doing talking about Jeezy. Like the, like, <clears throat> the most, I don't think we have a lot in common. Like, I have a lot. I, I think I, I, think I would have with Khalees. the baby. I think I would Khalees, but I feel like me and Janae are just more closer in age. So it would be between her and Sizzler. How old is she? Janae? Yeah. 31 or 32. She's like oh, 31. Dang. So we was the same age as. um. So she's much younger than the BCK people. Yeah. Okay. But they like, they only 32, 33. They're not that much older than us. Oh. Yeah. They just seem like That makes sense. We were just in middle school and they were in high school age. So, you know, when you was in middle school, you really thought people was older when they were just a little a year old. But you know what? Back then, people look old. Speak for yourself. Please. I mean, look grown. Like. No, they look grown now. No, yeah, I'm just like hot shots and. What do y'all normally do with the shrimp tail when it gets stuck in it? I'm getting, I'm getting mine now. I ain't gonna treat the shrimp like a new Squeen. Squeen. Let me tell you, these potatoes. Crack. Okay, so what else we got? Let's see. I had to um do some. Um, do you have a guilty? Oh, I said they, I said they picked the person. Uh, who was that calling during our YouTube debut? With the DM. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna say I'm gonna have with the <laughs> baby. Oh. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. And we would go to um an amusement park with a bunch of people. <clears throat> That's like a perfect date. Not. I, I have a man. I'm just 
saying. No, know. music parts, yeah, well, yeah, true. I just think the baby has a lot of energy, and so we can't, I don't want to be going nowhere trying to have a fun. You know, people be like, hey, I just want to pick your brain. No, I just want to have fun. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't tell people that. I don't like that. Yeah, that's pick your brain. Yeah, they're pick. Exactly, boo boo. Like, and what do you think you can get out of me from that? That you know what I'm saying? Nothing. But I, I think that people they don't have ill intentions. They just need to get their approach. They need a more original approach. But yes, yeah, so what's my brain to pick? Yeah, and my nun that's behind me. He'll be making trillers. <laughs> that he's super talented. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, he I just seemed like a fun <laughs> time. His baby mama can definitely come too, cause I know she don't play no games. Yeah, she Period. um, she got that name tattoo. She ain't playing with your ass. Somebody said, you know that bit, the interview she did, she had that shirt with the collar that she tied up. They were like, that's the reform hood rat right, blouse. <laughs> I ain't gonna, I'm gonna tell you how many I had in my room for days. Whoever posted that meme about the um the hump with the twist in the front and the Ooh. gauchos, <laughs> that definitely was the job interview. What's the problem? That was me. Oh. I had not had a job interview though. That is a big shrimp right here. Dang, you know how they say shrimp or the roaches of the sea? This definitely queen crop roach. Extra butter, please. I don't know, roach. You know they say the roaches of the sea. They said they. I know, they, but I don't want to think about that. Yeah, the way what you did to me. We're not gonna talk about it though. I have mm. a reputation to uphold. Okay. But if you don't know, you don't know. Mm. But um, okay, cool. What is your guilty pleasure? I'll go first. Nothing okay. be but. That song is my guilty pleasure. I don't care how ratchet it is or how well dressed I am, I'm acting up and I'm saying every lyric. <laughs> One of my coworkers had replied to, um, remember that night my sister had a party? Yeah. My coworker was like, wow, you know all the words to that song. <laughs> <laughs> sure do. Rough biggest stuff, boy. But that song was changed. I swear I could be mourning the death of somebody. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's two songs that you do that to, that and Yola, DJ Yola. It, that song hit different to you, like that I feel like it just—it's just—it's just a hood anthem, man. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Yola, I had put my boyfriend on to Yola one night, and um, it was us and some other people chilling. And the song came on, and he was just like, "Wow." <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. They was from Atlanta too. I can't say. Okay. They knew the song though. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> there is that. There is that. What about you? What's yours? Um, really want to know? I don't want to know the person who asked. Want to know? Um, the Kardashians, specifically. I don't know. You right. I don't uh, know what your infatuation is with them. I don't know. I just. And I'm not even trying, I'm not even saying it from a hater perspective, but I, you know, I told, like I, I said before, it. I just have tried to watch that show. I do look at Kyle as a cool person, but it's just, I just don't know, man. I think it's just because I, um, I really used to like Paris and Nicole. You did. A you lot. really did. So I think that just. Aesthetic. Era, yeah, that aesthetic and the era of celebrity just never left me. And I feel like Kim is a continuation of that. Like, she don't really have. I think she has much more personality than Paris had to me. Okay. Um, uh -huh. But also, like, I just, I'm a, I'm a makeup artist. I feel like her, even though she does have <laughs> altered physical features, um, I do feel like her um, style of beauty has just had an impact on the beauty community as a whole. What does that even mean, though? So, her style of beauty. Her style of glam. Meaning that, like her hair, her makeup, it's had a big, in, big impact on. I mean, even do you think it's her that's had the impact off. though? Yeah. I don't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry, but yeah, I just feel like she, even her new face, she looks normal to me. Yeah, she looks normal, but realistically, before Kim got mm -hmm. so popular, mm -hmm. the style of makeup was different, and everybody, the the whole reason why people use banana powder or know what banana powder is is because of her. I mean, I still don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, so I won't because of you, because of you, because of you. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying like for I'm most you. makeup artists, they introduction to banana powder was through Kim Kardashian. Okay. Um, banana powder is translucent powder, but it has a yellow tint and it brightens the under eye. Set, set, and brightens it at the same time. It's lit. Okay. Oh. 
So yeah, that's my guilty pleasure. I love Kim. Mm -hmm. I, do, I I wouldn't say all the Kardashians. I don't really care about nobody else but her. Are there any of them you just don't like at all, or um, just don't care as much? I don't care as much. Like even Kylie, I don't really too much care about. I like Kylie, I don't. You know what? I don't know how I feel about Chloe. I think because I think for me, it's because she's had the biggest transformation, and I don't recognize her. She look good now, though. I will say Chloe is just the most the most outspoken, which I can respect. Is you think she? Why? Why? What do you think that comes from? Her being the ugly sister or the fat sister—that's mm -hmm. no shame. Her and man. Kylie both were like the underdogs of the family. Oh yeah, and Kylie's grow grow up. Yeah, so they both. Yeah. No, I agree. I understand. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm not necessarily bothered by them, but I just don't. I don't get it. But you know, I used to feel that about a couple of people that are influencers. Like I used to feel like that about Dre. I didn't understand why people just were so obsessed with her. I still don't. But she I'm she's still beautiful. I know. I used to feel like she looked really simple, and I don't. And I'm not trying to read. She. I do think she's gorgeous, but I um. I didn't watch basketball wise, but when I mm -hmm. did watch a couple episodes, and just it's something about her her aesthetic, I guess I just like okay, I like this girl. I didn't know she had her body done. Her body was real natural. She claimed she didn't. She did. Yeah, well, even if she did, who cares? I'm getting mine done. Yeah. Come on. Period. Dude, I don't what care. are you getting? A BBL, a super BBL. What? But I'm getting a regular size boot. I'm not doing. I just want to not be flat no more. I'm getting it. Her do. Okay. When you doing this? Before I get married. Are you gonna premiere the body at your wedding? No, no, it ain't gonna be that drastic. Nobody's gonna probably even notice. Mm. Like I'm literally it's gonna be that subtle. Yeah, I, I just wanna. So it's gonna be like super. Super did not get her butt done. She did. Yeah, body done though. She got life on. Yeah, body looks good. And she I, mean, got her like skin. She got done. I don't think she got her skin. So she had a body. Sis had a body. You know, she gained a lot of weight. And then she lost a lot of weight. She had a lot of hanging skin. And she did get her surgery on her arms. And her and my cousin actually have a similar um, condition with their arms. Like, no matter how much weight they lose, their arms are just really, really big. She had that. Oh, okay. But she didn't get, I can assure you. But it don't matter. She still look good. Yeah, but man. whatever she got done, she looks amazing. Yeah, she does. I'm happy for her. She's been through a lot. She's one of those people who do put all their business on social media, but I don't feel like she's problematic. No, not at all. They try to make her like that at one time. Yeah, she, she don't play that. She don't play that. That was a terrible <laughs> accent, but you remember um, um my, little, my new old friends. Who I had some too. I Shame. Too. Man, let me tell you, New Orleans people put me onto a lot. When Katrina happened. And everybody, you know, had to evacuate New Orleans, and a lot of people came up here. I, I don't think a lot of people know how that went down. Like, if you weren't living in a southern state, yeah, that was a, after Hurricane Katrina. That was a <clears throat> a huge influx of New Orleans residents that came to like Atlanta, Texas, a bunch of the southern states, and it was a lot of controversy. Like, you know, people kind of like claiming a space, or yeah. you know, kind of being intimidated because you know New Orleans always had that image of like, uh, being aggressive. yeah. I don't know. Mm. Well, a lot of people, at least in my school, they came, but um, they ended up leaving the next semester. So we made some friends, but we'll never see them again. Mm -hmm. But Draco got close with some of them, right? I still talk to a few of them. Well, I just I talked to them through Instagram and Facebook, but them were my folks. Let me tell you something. Mm. Them was my folks, okay? And to this day, I still love New Orleans. I actually just went to New Orleans before I came. I mean, went to Dubai. My first time in New Orleans ever was when my sister graduated from college from Dillard University. <laughs> <laughs> it is now 8 18 at night, so. It ain't that late. It ain't that late, but it's getting prepared, you know, prepared for. Mm. I was playing that, I don't got no man, I don't got no potentials. I'm single. What about you? Not. I'm not saying at all. No potential. You don't talk to nobody. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Does that bother you? I don't know. That's honest. I think. I say it don't, but I'll be having my moments sometimes. Be like, girl, hey. You be feeling lonely? I wouldn't even call it lonely. I just be bored. <laughs> I know what you mean. I don't know. I was just like, dang it, you know. Yeah. Then I started doing stuff I don't need to be doing. I was about to say, do you think that boredom can lead to not necessarily desperateness, but just like the the urge to just do something? Oh girl, what? Yeah. 
I literally beat myself up while I'm trying. I'm like, damn, why would I try to even remotely entertain this person? So, have something to do? Mm mm. 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 The corn be the best part. This the best. This is my third walk time with wild crab. And somebody marinate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be on the cob every day. What? Mm. Mine's the only eat crab outside the shrimp balls. I mm mean, -hmm. I don't eat corn on the cob. Mm -hmm. I don't care how crazy I look right down in my mouth stopping. <clears throat> mm. This could stop a war. Number one, I'm just, I'm so shocked that we have 20,000 streams. Not shocked. That's kind of crazy if you think about it. We've just been real consistent. I mean, if y'all only knew what, how much we had to do to record, both of us work, at least we work full time. My work schedule is just all over the place. So to coordinate recording so sometimes the recording is late or if it's uploaded late it's because we both are busy or a human being because no we don't yeah. we ain't never been lazy about it that's a fact no yeah. tired yes but we yeah. still get it done but when people get like when people who i didn't even think like when people say that this is the first podcast they ever listened to i just be like wow that's crazy this is one of the first podcasts i listen to i'm so sad you got water and i don't <laughs> <laughs> You better drink some tears. <laughs> like, I gotta slow down eating because you got so much food though. I mean, you only got shrimp, so what am I gonna do? I don't know. <clears throat> um, but no, um, yeah, my first podcast ever, y'all, it was Serial. Not that you asked because it didn't, but you did. What is Serial? It's a uh, podcast about true crime. So they'll spend like an entire season investigating a case. Not necessarily investigating, but going into the details about it, like interviewing people. Girl, you just listen to like that. <laughs> This was a long time ago. I mean. But, um, <laughs> but I didn't even know I was listening to a podcast. I didn't even know what I was doing. How, it didn't make sense. So, after I finished that, I stopped. I stopped for a while. And then, um, my boyfriend told me about, um, Lip Service, which is Angela Yee's podcast. Okay. And I binge watched it. And at that point, I thought like the show had been out for like three or four years. I listened to all episodes. God, this is when I had got my first like official corporate America job. So I would um just keep my headphones in at work and just listen. And then I discovered other podcasts like the Friend Zone. You know what's so funny? So I listened to the Friend Zone and I I just never looked at the art, the cover art, and I saw a sunset. I'm like, oh. I'm like, I know him. That's why I listened to it, because I knew him and I knew of K Fury because he was Brian's roommate at one point. Mm-hmm. So I did know about the Reed having a podcast, but I don't know why I didn't listen to them at first. I really mm. have no idea. I'm not listening now, but I knew they had a podcast. No, they paved the way. At least for black mm. podcast. Yeah. For real. They've been doing it for like seven years now. Mm -hmm. So I work for the whole company that created podcasts and they didn't know what they were. What? We never talked about them. Mm-hmm. Apple? Mm-hmm. Create a podcast. Mm-hmm. In 2007. Wow. Yeah. Steve Jobs said that podcast was going to redefine what radio is. Yeah, it might not have been right away. But here we are. <clears throat> it's definitely growing. A lot of people who I um, have been introduced to it this year. Mm -hmm. Especially through. Um, it's definitely growing. Yeah. I think if you're in it now, you're good. But it's going to get a little bit more saturated. Oh, for sure. Every day I hear people, I want to start a podcast. I want to be a rapper. Let me say something. You got to talk about something every week. It's not really easy, y'all, to just have something to readily talk about. But people be like, I need a podcast. I got so much to say. We are. We might have something to say all the time. We we be struggling with topics sometimes. Sometimes topics can't even be a whole episode. You literally be answering a question, and then it be like, but see, we can do that. Mm-hmm. Because we got the skill. But you know what another podcaster told me? Like, sometimes if I feel like an episode wasn't thorough enough or detailed, this is actually Randy from the Black Millennial Marriage Podcast. She was saying, the people listening, they don't know your script. They don't know what you're talking about. So they don't even know if you feel like you ran out of topics. Yeah. <clears throat> they just listening or watching. But, um, okay. So I said, what is our, like, me and you favorite memory together? Some fire stuff. Let me see. 
Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say just one, but that short amount of time when we lived together after we graduated from high school. That was a favorite. That was Listen. traumatizing. It was, but it was fun. We had some fun nights or fun days. I'm glad we made it out alive. And that's not even, that's no cap. That's no there cap. It was some fun time, but yeah. I was gonna say HHC. No. It was, it was just funny that I thought I'd say. I actually really enjoyed being at HHC. Um, we were in this group, y'all, where we used to wear retro clothes and just go out. We would socialize before it. That was a thing. Like we influencers. Add, pictures, add the pictures on here. So mm -hmm. we just so people yeah, look right here. Move like a snake. Like a snake. Move like a snake. Hey, demonetize it. Demonetize. Demonetize. But now, nah, um, it just he was fun too. Like honestly, we gotta be ourselves. We was just out in these streets, carefree, doing what we want to do. No bills. No bills. Mm. Maybe that was you no know, fun times, but. And this was unique. Like, not a lot of people can say they was doing that. Like, we really was... We didn't know what, what we had. If this was social media, if that was the era. Right. Like, that was MySpace days. And that really wasn't such thing as viral. We was viral. I'm full. I'm not. not Probably like, never really get me full, though. Yeah, they, no, no, no. I got two, four. I got five pieces. Six pieces of... Five. Spicy. I definitely asked for my mouth. I'm medium. This is spicy. I can't tell what mine is. But um, but yeah, so we just dress retro. We would go to parties and host parties and just take pictures and look cool. People now, it was cool to Look us. There were some people who was hating. They thought we looked stupid. I mean, looking back, we did. But we were looking for that time. It was right after that. People were doing it. People were doing what we had been doing all along. Trendsetters. First, they laughed in that copy. Period. Is that Nicki Minaj line? It ain't. Uh, okay. <laughs> No, nah. I feel like all my lines is from Nicki Minaj. No, I just didn't know. I mean, she is the queen of rap, but it's all mine. Look out, it's some crap in now. Ain't no more time. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe that ain't worth it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's why I went right in there. But that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't like crowds. And I be like, you leaving me to now. I'm just going to go put this mat on the phone. Okay, next question. Mm. Dang. That put y'all call a goat. Um, if you could live anywhere, where would you live? Freezing. The camera. I don't know what that was about. But what were we saying? Oh, I was saying that, um... What attracts me about L.A.? Yeah. Um, every time I go to L.A., first of all, I I feel like it's easier for me to eat healthy out there. <clears throat> and ultimately, I want to get to a point in my life where I just eat healthy every day. That's one. I love the sunny weather. I love the beach. Um, I like the style of people. I just like the environment. Like, even small stuff like just seeing mountains every day. I don't see it's that. It's life-changing. Humming, hummingbirds. Yep. It just feels different. When I'm in LA, I feel like I'm like, I, I could smoke weed in LA. I can't smoke it in Atlanta. I, um, yeah, California's interesting. I always point out, you write about the food thing. I lost 30 pounds in three months, five months up there. That's what I'm saying. Now they do have good food. Like they have the best Mexican food ever. And I love Mexican food. Cause it's real. The, the best food avocados. tastes really good out there. Yeah. It's just different. I really like being from the south, and I like being here, but I just don't want to live here at the moment because I've been here my whole life. Yeah, no, you're right. I yeah, I, I like. Hit, I, I don't hit the same four corners for the rest of the whole. Mm -hmm. No. Would you consider four corners like Alabama, Mississippi? No, the four corners of Atlanta: West Side, <laughs> East Side, North Side, South Side. In Central, I just find um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can't. I don't know about LA. It is beautiful. I don't even know what it is about New York, truth be told. Maybe it's the cheap flights to other New countries. York. I, I went and it was dirty. That. It was dirty and I don't like dirt. I don't know what the small house is. I got so many clothes. I actually seen some nice condos I could buy in New York. They are high, but they're, they're semi affordable. And affordable, I guess that's Blackberries. Yeah, because 
But the amount that people pay for rent, I mean, I would rather buy those condos. But yeah, I would love to get, I actually um, was reading this article, kind of reading and glancing over the article about this couple that bought a brownstone in Brooklyn in 1963 for $30,000. And I looked at the address of this property, now worth $4 million. Whoa. And that was in the 60s. That was like when my mom was, my mom was born in 64. Whoa. Yeah. $4, Four million. $4 million. And it's funny because my granddaddy bought his house, I, I think he bought it in that same time frame. And I think in that era, houses were going for that much, and he's selling it right now for two hundred thousand mm. dollars. Now that's the impact of gentrification, because this house is on the west side, and Brooklyn has been, you know, New York is expensive in general, but Brooklyn is on the gentrification come up. They ain't really got to Camden Road yet, just for class. Yeah, they close now. They got the West End. They got the other end of Camden. And they got, they do some. Yeah, you think they got the other end of Camden? Um, it ain't gentrified. That's black excellence over there. But it is nice if that's what you mean. I want to live there, but I actually was gonna buy a house over there by Westlake, but I'm glad I did. Why didn't you explain? No, because that that area is so far off the exit. No, the house in, in over there. I, yes, I could have, but I don't like. I don't. Kim Free got too much. The part, the Mark got too much going on. That's what I'm saying. It's just come up a little bit. Yeah, it's just got so much going on. The property would have would have been affordable and convenient, but I'm beyond that part of my life. <laughs> That's why I'm like Texas to the West Coast. You know, it ain't that bad. It ain't that much better. But I consider even moving to Vegas at one point. Oh yeah, mm. and you can get good property cheaper in Vegas. I actually thought about Vegas too, but you know what's so funny? That's all there is to no, that part of Nevada is Vegas. It's like unless you, were, I was told that if you work in hospitality, I'm sorry, my nose is. I was told that if you don't work in a hospitality or a hotel, like that's hospitality industry, it's kind of hard to find work. I'm not sure if you remember LaMaya who worked with us at Six Flags. Um, she's now back in Atlanta, but she did hair out there. She was saying, Oh, yeah, yeah, really yeah. Did. She was working in Atlanta for me for a minute. Yeah, at, um, yeah. But she was saying that um, it's not as easy to um, to get, like how it is in Atlanta for a uh, person that's in the beauty field. But yeah, so now she is. I was working at Mac. Oh, true. I mean, move like a snake. <laughs> but um, what I was gonna say, she's now she's working for a major airline doing like in house. I, well, she's doing some really cool stuff. So shout out to okay. her. Okay, I thought she was doing hair. Her. She is. She's doing. She's exclusively doing it for the hair. Like they have like a salon for employees. I think she's doing like brows and all that stuff too. Hmm. Oh, we supposed to make our thumbnail. Let's talk about how you can't do it for Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Demonetize. Let's talk about how you can't do sh for Huh? Alright, so look. We have she put these scissors up because the camera keep cutting off. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, okay, so the food was good. We done. I don't know what's going on, but this is our first YouTube video, so we just gonna go roll with the punches. But um, but yeah. So anyway, so beep, 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 beep. beep. <laughs> but no, I don't know what happened, man. It cut off. It said the camera was hot. We hot. We on fire. The twenty thousand strays. Appreciate that. Can't wait till we get to a million, and then a billion. Then we get podcast of the year. Not after a billion, but I'm saying these are things gonna happen simultaneously. Then we're gonna be on the world tour. Then we're gonna have merch. You did what I'm saying. The merch gonna come first. Period. 2020. The money gonna come, period. <laughs> but anyway, so y'all, thank you so much for uh supporting. Subscribe. Subscribe on all if you this is your first time seeing us, um we should do an intro. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> Forget it. Thank you for <laughs> make sure you subscribe to the podcast on YouTube and all major podcast platforms. Um, examples like Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Spotify, iHeartRadio. I mean, literally anywhere that you can listen to a podcast, we there. And make sure you tell all your friends. And also make sure you like you move like a snake. Like a snake. Shout out to Nicole TV. And um, make sure you give us five stars on, on the podcast app. And make sure you are subscribed to this channel. So if we make some more videos at the camera work, then we can, you know what I'm saying, give you some more content. So anyway, thanks y'all. OD Podcast on, on Instagram. Listen ODP. Ooh, let me go. Send us an email at listenodp at gmail.com. I'm a Dalisha, U H H dot L I C I A. And I am Draco, D R V C O, also known as Dr. Vico.
Okay. Like a snake. Alright, we're gonna they gonna, gonna monetize us. Oh man. We need to have that problem yet. We're gonna have that problem. <clears throat> we haven't seen all the songs. <laughs> we can see in your head. I don't know why I was just singing the happy birthday song. Anyway, Wild Crowd was good, period. Indicator. That's it. I'm annoyed. The camera messed up. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm not. <laughs> Go ahead. You didn't even cut the ring light on. <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Bye. I can make candy. Make candy.